Here's a little review of some notes on probability. Let's take a look at example one here. What is the probability of picking an ace or a king from a deck of cards? Now the key word here is or. Let's remember that or is more. This topic is going to come up a lot this year. Well, what does that mean, or is more? Well, if I'm giving options here, ace or a king, the probability should go up. So I start with the probability of an ace, which is 4 to 52, because there's 4 aces and 52 cards in a deck. Same for kings, 4 and 52. So the question was, what operation should we use in the middle? Well, remember, or is more. This should get bigger. So what operation will make them bigger? You might think multiplication. But actually, multiplying fractions will make them smaller, while adding fractions is going to make them bigger. So we want to add fractions here. That's why we're adding here. So 4 to 52 plus 4 to 52 reduces to 2 over 13. Now, picking an ace and picking a king are what we would call mutually exclusive events which means that there's no overlap between the two categories. Put the two categories together. Do they have any elements that they share? Is there any ace slash hybrid king card in the deck? The answer is no. That makes them mutually exclusive. And that's a pretty good phrase to use in English as well. What is the probability of picking a jack or a spade in example two? So again, or is more. We're going to be adding again. So the probability of picking a jack would be four out of 52 because there's four jacks in the deck, 52 total. The probability of picking a spade would be 13 out of 52 because there are 13 spades in the deck. But this time, if I put the two categories together, ask yourself, are there any jack of spades in the deck? And the answer is yes. So what does that mean? What's the consequence of that, that there is overlap? Well, that means that I double counted in this category. There was overlap. So I've counted a certain amount of cards in both categories by mistake. The question is, how many? So how many jacks of spades are in the deck? Just one, the overlap of, overlap of jack of spades. So we subtract that out, and that leaves 16 out of 52, which reduces to 4 over 13. So those two events are what we call inclusive. And when there's overlap, you have to subtract out how many elements overlap in each group. So in this case, there is one because there's only one jack of spade in the deck.